Hello everyone, I am Sikandar Abu uh, Welcome uh, to my Angular 2 uh, tutorial. Uh, today uh, I am going to uh, show you uh, how to use uh, uh, interface and uh, promise in Angular 2. Uh, I am using uh, Angular client here. Uh, I have started very simple and basic uh, project I'm showing you this is my project so a blank uh, project uh, it's, uh, app component file and uh, app component file and it's app component HTML and app component JS uh, file and app module so basically uh, I have uh, not done anything here so uh, I'm going to start first of all what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to create uh, an interface so uh, by using this tool CD And we generate interface employee uh, so this is the interface I'm going to right name string and a number and uh, I'm going to create a uh, data mock file named employee dot yes. in real world application we will definitely use uh, server remote server and we will use later on HTTP service to call uh, our server data and fetch the data. Uh, but at present, I am showing uh, with the help of um, mock data. So, first of all, I am going to import uh, this right here employee and then export Type employee array and write some object here name. Object mm 
well uh, I have created this uh, node data and now I'm going to create a service indigenous service employee and in this service file uh, I'm going to import this again and also this Here, import statement and employee mark. Well, in employee. Have to add this service into module so to import so um, Employee service. Give it into the provider. Edit. Well, uh, now, uh, so employee interface I've created and mock service I've created and I've created a service and I have imported. I have two files here. Uh, now I'm going to create a method in the service file like get employees employee and return uh in place so this method uh, will uh, retrieve the employee data from the mock employee mock uh, file and return it to the caller who will call the service uh, uh, get employee method from the service well uh, our service is ready now the time has come to use it so i'm going to uh, call it uh, from app component file and uh, first of all i'll have to import uh, 
this one and also filter the service and I will have to put it into the constructor method. Private service, and I'm going to call get employees. uh this and service dot get and files And to create variable employees, So uh, here I am retrieving the data by taking the help of M service get employees method and putting uh, the result into the employees. And I'm going to show this data into here. So let us see the result. Cycle hook, so I have to call it from here. And it has come. So uh, we have uh, retrieved our data from uh, employee mock uh, data service. So it is not a remote server. So uh, here 
the things uh, that I want to notice here. Uh, the way we are retrieving the data is uh, the signature of this method will be uh, asynchronous. That means uh, we are not handling our uh, service in a synchronous way. That means we'll have to uh, wait or uh, for getting data for this service, and for that time we'll have to wait and uh, block our uh, browser but in a uh, real world application will not do this thing we will uh, follow the asynchronous way of retrieving data and for doing that we will have to use some technique like promise and uh, I'm going to show you how to use the promise so in our uh, employee service here have to use Promise and here promise resolve method. Yes, and one more thing we'll have to do when we are using the promise here, we'll have to use uh, then method. Employees error function this is equal to plus So again, we, we are getting the data. So uh, I am explaining again what I am uh, doing here. Uh, I am uh, taking the help of promise uh, service here and resolving the uh, employees uh, array. And uh, I am uh, when I am using the promise, it means it is uh, promising uh, to deliver uh, either uh, the uh, result result from the server or uh, from the, uh, the reject uh, message from the server so uh, for getting any of the result we'll have to wait but we cannot block the process so uh, that's why we are using this uh, resolve method uh, and by this way we can use the asynchronous method of handling the data uh, and uh, I think you have understood it and if you have any question please uh, leave it on the comment and um, take care of yourself